see I've got my mark here and I want to cut this so it is plumb and level. So and one way to do that, and I stole this idea from the uh, Woodwhite workshop on TV, PBS TV, is to when you're looking at the reflection in the blade, you can see that it looks like a mirror. So you want this to be straight and the reflection to go straight. From the angle of the camera, I don't know if that's as straight as it is when I'm looking at it straight. But then uh, you just want to start cutting and make sure that's straight straight. If you go off to this side, it angles it. If you go off to this side, you can see it angles that way. Or if you're holding it this way or that way, it doesn't go straight in. It looks like a, you just want that mirror image to go straight in there. So basically, just hold it. Start sawing pretty easy. And, Get long and level cut. Okay. Dang it, please don't run off on me. Okay, so. Petroleum jelly on there. Set this in there. I didn't do a hammer. not going to fit yet, so make adjustments, make adjustments. Stop the camera. Okay, I had to go back and redo the grooves here because the uh, O-rings are sticking out too far. And I hope I get it this time, so we'll try, see what happens. There's very little room, as you might see. So it's going to be tight. Let me try to bang on a little bit with a hammer. I'm not trying to break anything. Oh, maybe it will go. Okay. Okay, so I got my pump 
put together, I glued the T, slip T on it. I put this cap on it. And this will slide up and down. This is a ramrod and it's kind of tight, so what I'm going to have to do is uh, just make a little bit of grease on there so I wipe that clean. And I'm going to primer it. I've got it pulled out just about, I don't know, half an inch or so. Well, so Off. Ready to roll. Let that dry for a little bit, and we're ready to work, start working on the valves. <laughs> 